down thy boat! Hello everyone, welcome to Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave, and today we have a uh, BD-154 diesel engine, uh, international diesel engine, to rebuild. Uh, we got this as, uh, well, what I call a basket case. The tractor came in along with uh, two or three boxes of parts and a whole bunch of loose pieces to go with. Uh, guy started uh, pulling it down to see if he was going to fix it and found that it was more than he wanted to tackle, so he brought it here. So I get to play jigsaw puzzle. Uh, anyway, uh, had an engine uh, knock, number two uh, connecting rod bearing was bad, uh, ruined the connecting rod, scarred the crank, so uh, we're going to start pulling down to see what we can save. Uh, I'll get the camera around to get a better angle at it and we'll get started. Now that we have the uh, crank out and know what we need to order for parts, it's time to prepare the block for the rebuild. I removed the uh, lifters, I marked them as to position so they go back in the same spot they came out of. We'll remove this engine plate as well uh, because when it's in the uh, hot tank it's in an acid bath and uh, there's a possibility that the acid could infiltrate behind the plate and destroy the gasket so we don't want anything, any leaks. We'll take this plate off. You also need to remove any uh, brass fittings or anything like that and uh, any, any aluminum parts like the tack drive on the side of the engine as well. We'll also drive the old sleeves out. Nice thing with these engines, they're a wet sleeved engine, so they're pretty simple, pretty straightforward to rebuild. Our block's ready to go to the machine shop now, so uh, we'll get our machine work done, get our parts all gathered together, and we'll see you again when we're ready to start reassembly.